Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dash Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. We talking Victor Win Ban Yama. And I gotta tell you, man, this joke has been making the rounds as far as interviews. Good Morning America, ESPN. You know, he's been everywhere, man, and he seems to be embracing the hype. He's looking forward to it. He's engulfing in it. Way different from Tim Duncan and even D. Rob before him. He's embracing the expectations, man. And I gotta tell you, man, I'm super impressed. Huh? <laughs> because listen, I've been a Spurs fan a long time and we have never had any sizzle or pop or this much attention and i don't know if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing in the long run i guess we'll see because this is uncharted territory for the san antonio spurs don't get me wrong mono ginobili probably was the most popular person to the casual fan and that was a short span and that was what almost you know 10 15 years ago when he came on the scene and people were super excited so for us to be in the media and get like, respect and get coverage is exciting <laughs> But every action has a reaction. You know, there's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, and rightfully so. He seems to be embracing it. He seems to be loving it. But when I see him, you know, throwing the first pitch, when I see him on Good Morning America and doing the interviews and everything, I know the expectations are going to be huge for this guy when he gets on the court. And, you know, sometimes that makes me a little nervous because, man, I haven't seen hype this big since LeBron, man. And I'm like, yo, that is a lot to take on for a 19 year old. Damn. <laughs> Especially when you consider that social media is way more prevalent nowadays than it was even when LeBron was drafted back in 03. I mean, it was remnants of it, MySpace, probably a little Facebook, but it was nothing like it is now with TikTok and YouTube and all these podcasts and everyone has an opinion and you got jokers like me with YouTube channels and stuff like that. The expectations are huge. And one part of this article that I tagged earlier, you know, in the video was the fact that people said that if he had the career of Kevin Durant or the career of Akeem Olajuwon, that he would be considered a failure. Maybe failure is too strong of a word, but he wouldn't live up to expectation. And to me, that's wild. You know, two, you know, Lajuan had two back-to-back -back NBA championships, two final MVPs. Kevin Durant, obviously, his, you know, his career is a little, little weird because he did go to the Golden State Warriors. But at the end of the day, he still was an MVP, two-time final MVP, two-time champion. And that got me to thinking, like, yo, what are the expectations for this guy? You know, he's embracing everything. He says he wants to be the best. I think that's great. But as Spurs fans, what is the expectation? How many championships does he have to win to live up to the hype? Let's get this out of the way. It's a little premature of a video, but I think it's a fun thing to think about. How many championships does he have to win? And I'm going to go ahead and just get the elephant out the room and give my opinion. Five NBA championships to match Duncan or to exceed Duncan is excessive. I don't see that happening. You know, you got to have a lot of things go right for you to get five, six championships. You get what I'm saying? Even Tim Duncan never won back to back. He won, you know, the span of like almost what, two, three decade, decades. So come on, you know. That's the first thing. Now, D. Rob, he ended his career with two NBA championships. To me, that's probably the most realistic thing for Wimbenyama. If he ends his career with two, I can live with that. You know, honestly, I can live with that, especially if they're back to back. You know, I can kind of live with that. I think the sweet spot for him, though, to, you know, live up to the hype and satisfy me as a Spurs fan, the Spurs fans in general, as I think is three NBA championships. You know, along with other accolades, maybe an MVP here, maybe a defensive player award here, you know, all NBA selections, stuff like that, obviously, you know, and staying healthy. You know, if you do all that and you end your career with three NBA championships, multiple, you know, playoff appearances, the Spurs competing every year, 50 win seasons, stuff like that, I think you will live up to that. I think you'll be in a good situation. You see what I'm saying? But I think it's unrealistic for us to expect him to put up Tim Duncan championship numbers. You know, now if he does that, that'd be great. But I just don't think that's realistic. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know in the comment section how many championships you think he has to get to live up to the hype. Early video. But hey, let me know. Catch you in the next one. Peace.